I got to play against a guy who had just warrior from another planet in his side deck. So just like one copy and I drew into two jelly cannons. Oh god. Jelly cannon is so good. Morphing jar number two. Solemn strike. Infinite impermanence. Book of moon. And please, Harpy's Feather Duster, my back row. I'm begging you, Dragon Maid Lady. Harpy's Feather Duster, my back row, please. I'm on my knees. You see, if I ask for it, then there's, then they won't have it, you know? My eyes hurt like crazy. Well, then don't let them hurt. I can't see anything. Excellent. Kitchen Dragon Maid. <laughs> do you like spaghetti? No, not really. What are you going to do? You had your one play countered. Are you going to summon some other card? Are you going to tidy him to send it back to your hand to use it again? You can't because it's in the graveyard now. Do you have a Feather Duster link? No. Witch's Strike? If you had Witch's Strike, you wouldn't be able to use it. World Legacy Guard Dragon. Oh no. This lets him special summon a Guard Dragon monster from the graveyard. Your opponent would have been glad if you gave him. He summoned a card. Can he use the effect? Or did I stop it? He went to the battle phase. Does he have one of the big dragons in his hand? It looks like he does. That will allow him to reset the use of the card. Wait, did he just chain his big dragon? I don't think it matters because he can get it from the graveyard anyway. Oh, you know what? Maybe what it was is to give him a prompt. He was probably trying to select the card <laughs> and accidentally targeted the one in his, in his hand. It doesn't matter because it's from the graveyard too. Yeah, he, he pushed buttons and in this case, it he's not punished for it because it doesn't matter. It's Morbin time. It is Morbin time. I would rather my Morb live though. Because he's going to die to this, and I don't really have anything to deal with this. Because all it did was send it to the, the deck, and then he milled the same card again? Oh my god. Might as well have just been a man-eater bug with how little that milled. Oh my god, and he's playing a more than 30 card deck too. If I can just draw into... There can be only one. This would be amazing. Activate Lord of the Heavenly Prison. I can use this to get into Pot of Extravagance to maybe draw into a, There can be only one. Man-eater bug OTK win tomorrow. Okay, hopefully I can stop him this time around. I have another solemn strike that I was saving for last time. And now my back row is protected. I just wanted to play Master Duel. Just wanted to say thanks for posting your top tens and streaming your gimmick decks. It makes me happy and have fun playing with my brick eyes. <laughs> the brick eyes. <gasps> Call of the Haunted, seriously? Nobody uses Call of the Haunted. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. Weevil RP with the my Mr. Spider? No. Dragon made changeover? Oh, oh, that's why they did that, to go to Shio. I'm pretty sure Solemn Strike can stop Shio by just negating its summon once it hits the field. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. I found your Yu-Gi-Oh channel and WoW channel completely independently of each other, and I was shook. <gasps> what about the D&D and Magic channel? Dragon made Shio. Special summon, activate the activate card? No, not yet. Viewer duels only on Twitch. What about viewer duels on Twitch? I'll use Book of Moon to flip it face down. Is he going to negate the effect? <gasps> He's going to attempt to negate the effect? Cool. I can destroy it. <laughs> I did have to waste Book of Moon in order to do this. But I should be able to get some of that advantage back with Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Okay. Activate Lord of the Heavenly Prisons. Okay. And then... I wish I could grab a Floodgate, but the card gets banished during my end phase. So I have to pick a card I can use immediately. Pot of Extravagance is a pretty good pick. Main phase two, end phase, my turn. Heck yeah, let me draw some cards. Needleworm, excellent. I can use this to mill my opponent. Let me just banish six cards right quick and then draw two. <gasps> Morphing Jar. Let's put this into attack position. He has 38 cards in his deck. Go into the Lord of the Heavenly Prison and then set Morphing Jar. It's Morbin time. Yeah, it's Morphing Jar. Ooh, woo. What is he gonna do? He has no more Dragon Mates. There's no way he has another Call of the Haunted or another infinite, another way to get a Shio out. He has to be out of resources by now. Parlor, send a Dragon Maid monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's fine. I don't need to negate that. You fail to imperm block him. I don't need to imperm. I can save my imperm. I love that part where he morbed all over those guys. I'm about to morb all over him with my Morbin Jar. It's Morbin time. You see? Morbing Jar. Just ignore the H. <laughs> or I guess Morping Jar. Because there's no B in there. Why Morphing Jar before Needleworm? Because Morphing Jar is better. It can allow me to get more cards to get more meal. 
It does also get my opponent cards too, but that is a, a risk I'm willing to, to risk. Parlor, he's gonna go into his big dragon. Okay, go for it. Oh wait, they can use changeover, can't they? Oh, oh no, not changeover. I shouldn't have let them do that. Dragon Maid, T-Kick. Oh wait, if he attacks into Morphine Jar. Oh, he's just immediately gonna end his turn. He's gonna use changeover from the grave to return this and then go into Shi-O. Dragon Maid, changeover, return it to the hand. Then he can activate Dragon Maid to change over. Why did he not summon her in defense? Maybe he was thinking about going into Morphine Jar in order to morb all my jars and then decided against it for whatever reason. We must morb together. I'm trying. I'm trying to morb as hard as I can over here. I'm morbing like my life depends on it. Is he even running two Shios? I mean, most Dragon Maid decks run at least two Shios. You want to play three Shios, though, for consistency. Okay, my turn. As soon as my turn starts, I'm going to activate Infinite Impermanence. We can't let him have his negate and or his special summon live. Isn't this stream called Needleworm? Oh wait, he just let it go? Huh. Uh, I'm surprised he just let it go through. Okay. Excellent. So I'm going to shotgun Maxi here. There's no one that can stop him on YouTube. Okay, then set this card. Then flip up Morphine Jar number two. Morphine Jar number one. Unless his, his hand is a uh, an Ash Blossom, this should go through. What are the chances his one card in the hand is Ash Blossom? No chances at all. No cap. Okay. Pot of Duality. Come on, give me something good to eat, Dasher. Oh my god, you gotta be oh kidding me. I put it in the Emperor column. Um. Palma. Uh, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no, I needed that. I needed that card. You can't do this to me. This is, this is bullying. Hi, YouTube. Shut up. That's not going on YouTube. Shut the hell up. Ah, uh, why, why, why did I put it? Why was, why was that the imperm column? Stupid imperm, impermanences columns. I can still win. I, I still am in a position to win it. I'm laughing. Shut up. Editor son, please put this on YouTube. No, don't put this on YouTube. Okay, during the draw phase, I'm going to shotgun morph Book of Moon on this Shio so it can't negate self perm. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> They're gonna go into she Oh, you fool. Okay, now you have to go into house, Dragon Maid. Wasted pot. Shut up. I didn't waste nothing. I've I've never once made a mistake in this children's card. Why did they put it in the extra monster zone? It is the draw phase. It is the standby phase. It is the main phase. House Dragon Maid. House is much worse. Yeah, house is way easier to deal with. What are they gonna do? Summon a card and then do nothing with that card? House Dragon Maid? No? They don't have anything? Y'all don't understand the fort? Yeah, I did that to like flex on him. It wasn't a uh, an accident. It was all part of my machinations. The battle phase, what? You, you don't have a single Dragon Maid monster in your hand? Are you kidding me? Battle phase, okay, well, Book of Eclipse. Okay, he's suffering. Does he have an Ash Blossom in hand to stop this effect? <laughs> I get to keep my morphing jar. Activate the effect of a card? Yeah, I'll activate the effect of Lord of the Heavenly Prisons in order to set an infinite impermanence for my deck. You a dragon made player? I know, right? Cringe. Card destruction? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh no, not another imper. <laughs> I have card destruction, that's even better. That floating set card is threatening. He has five cards in hand. Maybe he did all this as like a big brain move in order to force out interruption so that he can do his plays. Because there's no way he's bricked with five cards in hand. Like dragon maids are not that inconsistent, no matter how you build them. Harpy's Feather Duster? Oh, you- Palma. He was just baiting out Lord of the Heavenly Prison. My cards, no! Okay, he has four cards left in his hand. There's no way- Oh, he's just gonna end his turn. Okay, House Dragon Maid gets flipped up. He draws a card. Excellent. I draw one. We have Max C. I'm about to activate Morphing Jar. Um, yeah, let me just flip Morphing Jar up first. See if they have Ash Blossom. And if they do, then I can save Max C for my opponent's turn. Oh, Infinite Impermanence. Damn it. This Palma. zone is cursed. More ball over your opponent? I'm trying. I woke up today and I just decided it's Morbin time, you know? 
Time for morphine jar number two. Yeah, it was even in the same zone. He did that just to laugh at me. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh. You can stop milling my spells. I need, I need those. Ooh, another morphine jar. There can be only one. That's bad for me. Tsukiyomi, oof, that's a whiff. Come on, one more card, one more card, one more flip monster. Aw, oh, damn it. So just these two? And then my opponent gets nothing. Yeah, I build myself quite a bit. <sighs> my opponent doesn't get anything. Why is it why is there even a response over here? Network trap hole? <laughs> what? <laughs> why is he playing network trap hole? In a oh dragon maid deck. Oh my god. When your opponent spells some monsters from the main deck or graveyard, banish it face down. Oh, he morbed all over my cards. You've gotta be kidding me. How does he have so many just like he he perfectly counters my, my stratagems? Weirdest dragon main deck ever? Uh, Return of the Dragon Lords. Special summon. Why is he playing Return of the Dragon Lords and Dragon Maids? Oh well, I have Maxi. Yeah, why is he playing Network Trap Hole? Who plays that? Not even Trap Tricks players use Trap Network Trap Hole. Called by? And he is called by? Oh, I'm dead. If he just puts up a halfway decent board, this is game over. Damn, if only that pot of. If only he hadn't negated my pot of. Uh, pot of duality. I would have had the perfect card to counter all of this. Wait, I just realized something. If he hadn't Harpy's Feather Dustered me, I could have just flipped my Morphine Jar face down in response to his um to his infinite impermanence, and I could have had my Morphine Jar resolve correctly. He got me with that Morph that Harpy's Feather Duster. It's literally just a structure deck, is it? Are these cards in the structure deck? He has DPE in here too. He has three copies of Shio apparently. Oh no, one of them got returned because of the negate. <sighs> Does this deck hate Droll? Yeah, Droll's pretty bad for this deck. DPE is not in the structure deck. He can't even go into DPE. Dragon may change over. He can go into another Shio. I can't deal with the Shio with a single card, unless my single card is Solemn Strike. And even then, I still need something else to bait him out. And he has 3,500 attack points and damage. She oh, oh no. I think I'm just dead. And 2,000 boost. Oops. Okay, well, that's that's lethal damage. You got me, Dragon Maid player. I was a little cocky. Can you recover? No, it's, this is 500 off from lethal. 500 over lethal, I should say. Oh my god, he got me with that network trap hole. You've got to be kidding me. 